three, two, one. What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're gonna find out if a battle forged, battle ready katana can slice through seven iPhones. The goal of this test is to find out how many iPhone 10s you would need to save yourself from a katana blade. So just to give you context, I'm going to be making an iPhone 10 battle armor. It's gonna be a suit of iPhone 10s basically, but I'm trying to figure out how durable this battle armor will be if I need, you know, five iPhones here to be able to stop a katana, then I'm gonna try to do at least one spot where I have five of them. It's gonna be a ridiculously expensive body armor, but it's gonna be awesome. So we've got a brand new iPhone 10. We're gonna put that on top here. The rest of these were used in the video on how many iPhones does it take to save you from a bullet. We've got two super slow-mo cameras and we've got the Galaxy S9 Plus right here. It is going to be doing a bit of slow-mo action for us as well. It's gonna be awesome to compare the S9 Plus versus the Phantom on this ridiculous video. Big shout out to Fortnite Battle Royale for sponsoring this episode of Gizmo Slip. If you haven't heard of Fortnite, it's a 100 man PvP battle to the last survival. You can play in squads, you can play by yourself, duos, or they just added a 20 on 20 mode, which is one of my personal favorites. You just get into these massive epic battles with tons of people duking it out with these massive structures. It features destructible buildings, which means that you can just literally go right through a wall to attack your opponents, or you can build a tower in the middle of nowhere to defend yourself. It certainly offers a unique battle royale experience. I've included a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's free to play, so I mean, there's literally no reason to not at least download it and give it a try. And it's gonna be coming to iOS and Android coming soon, which is really cool. It's currently available for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Link in the description if you want to check it out. All right, without further ado, it's gonna be freaking epic. Let's go ahead and wax some iPhones. <laughs> Look at Derek. Yeah, this is how, <laughs> this is how funny. Here we go. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm gonna give it just full power, you know what I'm saying? Three, two, one. Oh my god. That was crazy amount of glass everywhere. Bounced on me, that was cool. Nah, this is slow. Take a minute for it to come down. Man, my aim was a little bit off. It was, that was a side. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. I think it helped a lot that there was already so much like broken glass on there. It all just kind of like pulverized and went in oh, every direction. That looks so cool though. Jeez, the way they like compressed down, like do, 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 downward. I had so much glass just bounce off my arms on that. Careful <laughs> rubbing your eyes today. Here we go. Jeez. That styrofoam, <laughs> the reverb. You can see an indention from the iPhone 10 on the bottom. Okay, so uh, here we go. Oh, jeez. That looks gnarly. I just love the fact that it's like a shaky cam effect. <laughs> As the iPhones go flying. I really want to get a shot hitting that iPhone 10 dead center. Let's do this. All right, in three, two, one. Wow. I gotta say, the iPhones really stand up to the Katana really well. Ooh. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> oh, and we've got chunks of the top iPhone going. You like, split the screen at least. So you yeah. Got the first layer of the first phone. I know. It's so. <laughs> Freaking strong, holy crap. That's gnarly. What was so cool though is like at that first part when you hit, like it left a layer of glass just sitting like it was level. Well, we tried this before. The major difference was we didn't have anything behind it, so he was able to slice through and keep going, and the phone just kind of bent in and the katana kept going. Yeah, yeah. In this one, it's like all that reinforcement and all the metal backing it up, and it's just like doesn't allow the katana to go through at all. Well, here's the second thing too. So you have all of the, the the hard reinforcement of the phones, but then you have the cushion of the uh, the foam as well. It's like absorbing and it's hard. That's probably pretty realistic though for hitting your arm. If the if the phone was on your arm, that's probably how it would you. You'd hit, it'd be hard, but then it'd also bend in. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got here. So this was the top layer. This was the functional iPhone 10, And just look at it. It is just decimated. It stopped at the metal frame. It just, it bent it real good. You literally just need one iPhone 10 to stop a katana. Now this is the second phone right here. <laughs> you can see the, where, the, where the impact hit very distinctly in a line right here across the middle. So much glass dust, it's nuts. All right, well there you have it. You only need one iPhone 10 to stop a Battle Forge Katana, which was a big surprise to me. 
Did it surprise you? If you want to know how many iPhone 10s it takes to stop a bullet, I'll also have a link in the description to check out that video. And don't forget to check out Fortnite down below. Freaking epic game. We'll see you out on the plains of the battlefieldness. We'll see you in the fields of Valhalla. We'll see you in the Fortnite. That was cool. <laughs> 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 We're leaving it.